Welcome to the Northern Illinois Agronomy Today. I'm here today with Dr. Greg Steckel. He's a research agronomist at this research center. And Greg, we're in front of your plots. What did you show your farmers today? Well, thanks, Russ. Uh, what we had here today was a uh, just a demonstration of a herbicide uh, symptomology on different crops and weed species. We had crops and weeds planted in rows with herbicide treatments applied both pre and post emergence across the plots. And then we put up signs to let the uh, the guests here today go out and look and observe some of those herbicide injury and weed control symptoms on different crops and weeds that maybe they normally wouldn't 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 see. And uh, just wanted to think about some of the different herbicide sites of action that are available for corn and soybean and some of their programs they're looking at. And also think about the site of action and, and rotating those sites of actions to keep up with some of the tough uh, herbicide resistant weeds that we're finding in corn and soybeans, even up here in northern Illinois. And Greg, you and I and your plots will be here for the remainder of the year. <laughs> People can come out and see them, correct? Yeah, we'll, uh, we plan to go ahead and leave the signs up for another couple of weeks here. Uh, right now is a good time to look at them because we just sprayed some of the post-emergence applications about to 10, 14 days ago. So too much longer, you won't be able to get a real good uh, visual on some of the symptoms. But yes, they'll be up and anyone's welcome to come take a look. Come and see Greg and I. Until next time from the Northern Illinois, Agronomy Research Center and the University of Illinois Extension. This has been Ross Higgins.